Good evening, everyone. Well, the Michigan Tech hockey team will play its first series of the calendar year starting tomorrow night at Minnesota Duluth. Tech last played in the Great Lakes Invitational between Christmas and New Year's. The Huskies won the GLI for the first time in 32 years with wins over Michigan and Western Michigan. Tech now turns its attention back to conference play in the WCHA and there's plenty of work to do there. The Huskies picked up just one point against Minnesota Duluth in their two games in Houghton earlier this season and special teams played a big part in that series. We have to play well uh, from the goaltender out. I mean, uh, we have to do a good job on our special teams. Uh, last time in here, Duluth jumped on us early in both games, got the lead. Uh, the special teams, or power play especially, was very good. Um, so those are a couple of key things. And we have to make sure that when we know when the top players on the ice. You know, I've got a couple of real good freshman players, and Mike Siddell's having a good year. So uh, we don't have the last change, but who's ever on the ice against those players have to make sure they're aware of them. Obviously, we have to stay on the ice. Uh, they have a great power play that uh, did very well against us. Uh, hopefully, our PK can step up uh, big time. And like I said, goaltending will be huge this weekend. But we got to make sure we're staying on their skill guys, getting their face, and you know, kind of bump them and get them off their game because uh, they have a couple lines there that are very skilled. And other than that, I think we have more depth and uh, more physicality all around, better game. You guys are feeling good about themselves, so um, hopefully, we can go into Duluth and, and win a couple games. Here they're the Huskies and Bulldogs have puck drop set for 8.07 Eastern time for Friday and Saturday nights. Michigan Tech is almost 100% healthy as defenseman Daniel Sova is the only injured Husky after requiring surgery on his left wrist six weeks ago. But the junior D-man may give it a go against Duluth this weekend.